Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and today, guys, I want to talk about WDS, which is Windows Deployment Services. Now, if you installed WDS before in the past, most likely you uh, dropped your remote install inside the C drive. Now, what happens if you start importing huge boot images and your C drive space gets smaller and smaller and smaller? Now, it's really difficult to, re, you know, relocate this guy. You can't actually right-click, cut, and then paste it somewhere, and WDS will work properly. No way. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it the correct way. So let's, uh, let's open up Command Prompt as an administrator. Okay. I am going to do a CD backslash so I can get into the CD command. And then from here, you want to do is a WDS util forward slash and you want to do is uninitialize servers hopefully I spelled it right hit enter yes it went through and then from there you guys want to go inside your folder as you can see I, it's not shared anymore remember when I showed you guys my my remote install in the C drive, it used to have like two little heads right there. It was being shared. It's not being shared anymore. So I could I could do a Control X, go into my new location, which is my D drive, paste it, and then once you paste it and it's fully copied over to your new location. For me, I don't have any boot images. For for you guys, you probably have like five gigs, ten gig images, or whatever. So it's gonna take a while. And once everything is completely copied over, you want to go back inside your command prompt and you want to do is a WDS until forward slash initialize initialize server. Gotta make sure I spell that stuff right. Initialize server forward slash REM INST new drive location oh so new drive location would be d forward slash remote install and you will hit enter and if everything goes all right bam there you go it is moved over. Excellent. Let's open up my WDS. And let's see if I right click and I don't know, add an image group and let's call it BJ Tech News. It looks like it's working. It looks like it's working. There it goes. It is working. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to do it one more time. And uh, let's right click another one, add, and let's go BJ Tech News number two. Two. And there it goes. That's awesome. So, guys, that's how you move your WDS remote install folder. If by any chance you guys did install it on the C drive, which in best, best practice you shouldn't be installing in a C drive, but if you did and uh, your remote install is getting too huge and you want to relocate it those are the two commands that you guys need to do okay uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video please give me thumbs up please subscribe please leave comments below and uh, at the description part of this video there's a bunch of links that you guys could uh, check out as well as follow me at twitter at bj tech news and so go to my facebook page and show some love i'll catch you guys later and peace out